Hey guys, it's Game Star VGC, and today I we are going to be looking at and playing with a team that I made that it includes a lot of interesting mods. Before we get into that, I just want to mention that I'm a very small YouTube channel still, and I really want to grow and share my love of competitive Pokemon with more people. So it would just make my day if you would like or subscribe. And yeah, it just really helps me a lot, and it makes my day when that happens. So thank you. Okay, now let's just get into the video. So, this team is based off a team that I made yesterday. It has the uh, overpowered duo of Root Bonnet and Goldengo. Root Bonnet Rage Powders. Goldengo will Nasty Plot once or twice and then just spam moves and win. And then, um, then I have, um, this time, I have Roaring Moon. Now, Roaring Moon, the best partner for Goldengo besides Root Bonnet. It has... Booster energy, so it activates Protosynthesis attack immediately because its attack is its highest stat. And uh, no, it, it Protosynthesis does not work on HP, but uh, yeah. So then that means that this Acrobatics will get to double power, and with Terrifying, it'll be power boosted even more. And because of booster energy attack, it'll be boosted even more. And then this thing also gets Tailwind, so basically what's going to happen is you get an insanely powerful Acrobatics, and you also get Tailwind to support Goldango. And then you get Throat Chop to deal with Sylveons, which would normally, you know, one-shot you because you're 2x weak, you're, you're 4x weak to Fairy. But yeah. Um, then we have Fluttermane. It's Choice Specs Fluttermane with Sha Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Moon Blast, Mistle Fire. And then it's Max Max, Max Special Attack, Max Speed. And then we have Iron Bundle with Focus Sash, Icy Wind, Hydro Pump, Freeze Dry, Protect. And uh, just Max Max. And then we have Hatterin to deal with Trick Room teams. Now, in the past, I had, like, Iron Hands or something here. No, I need Hatterin to deal with Trick Room because Trick Room has been an issue for me. So, uh, yeah, let's just immediately get into the battles. Okay. Great Tusk and Talon Flame is very much an issue for me. So, I might have to Terrifying the Doldango. So, I'm just going to lead Brute Bonnet Golzango, because that does deal with Great Tusk and Talonflame decently well, because uh, I redirect, they're, they're being redirected into an Aka Berry, so Flutter Blitz doesn't do much damage. And then Earthquake, I'm immune to, because I'm Doldango, and Brute Bonnet resists. So, um, this isn't a Trick Room team, so I'm not bringing in Hatterin. So, the choice is just between Roaring Moon, Flutter Mane, and Iron Bundle. And I think I'm bringing Roaring Moon because I want to have Tailwind to counter their Tailwind. And because they have Iron Bundle, I'm going to bring Iron Bundle to counter their Iron Bundle. Wait, Iron Bundle Arcanine? This is one of the best new scores in the meta because uh, what it does is it just provide, they provide so such a good defensive synergy with each other. And they have like just damage reduction on all fronts. So, um, I, let's see if I can pull it up here. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna command C here and see, because Snarl and Extreme Speed. So, yeah, these two just work super well together. Um, so what I want to do here is Rage Powder and Nasty Plot. Yes, they're trying to get like one or two Icy Winds off. That's fine. Flare Blitz goes into an Aka Berry, does like 44%. Nasty Plot goes up. Well, I don't care about that. Uh, Mirror Bar is a thing, though. So, um... Dinner Rage Powder again, and... How much did Icy Wind do? Ooh, Icy Wind will actually KO here. So I'm gonna Terra Flying into Shadow Ball. Yes, that will KO. Flare Blitz will not KO. Made sure of that so I can Shadow Ball them. And they will get KO'd. And then I need to bring my own thing. No, Gale Wings. Gale Wings is... Uh, okay, okay. Gonna Freeze Dry their Iron Bundle and Protect. They're gonna try to get, like, Priority Brave Bird or Priority Tailwind. Okay, 
Single target Icy Wind does decent damage. Flare Blitz plus Icy Wind. Wow, okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, I'm going to protect into Make It Rain. Make It Rain should, you know, stop the priority stuff on their end. Terra Ice Icy Wind does KO. And they're trying to get Tailwind up. Perfect. This is horrible now. I mean, I'm in bad position now, but I'm just going to keep trying. Um, I'm going to freeze-dry them. And... I'm going to acrobatics the Talon Flame. Oh, oh my gosh. Terra Ice Icy Wind actually does damage here. Boy, Icy Wind does KO. They do have Tailwind, though, so this... I don't have the best positioning here, but I am immune to their Earthquakes, so what I'm going to do is protect into Tailwind. If I can get Tailwind up without Roaring Moon dying, I'm in a pretty good position. Oh, yes, and I'm immune to their... I did not Terra Flying. I, 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 did not, I didn't Terra Flying. Well, I couldn't Terra Flying. I'm just an icy wind. Yeah, Flare Blitz does KO. You know what? It's a bad first match, but we'll keep going. Okay, okay. This is the Goldango and Moon just combination. And um, then you also have the Arcanine Iron Bundle combination. So it seems like Roaring Moon into Goldango could be a pretty good lead here. Yeah, I think Roaring Moon plus Gold Dango could be really good here. And then I'm just going to bring Fluttermane plus Iron Bundle in the back. Okay, bring in the Roaring Moon and Gold Dango. And then they bring Iron Hands and Gold Dango. You know what? First, I'm going to protect... I'm just going to get a double protect to stop the fake outs. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is, my speed is at 155, so I'm out speeding their gold dango. What I'm going to do is terrifying tailwind. And knowing that they're Terra Steel, I'm doing a nasty plot so that next turn I can one shot with Shadow Ball. Well, they barely do any damage to me and do less even further. Oh, they're setting nasty plot up too. Oh, de <laughs> don't think I don't didn't forget that. Oh, hopefully they're not protecting here. If they protect, they're, they're I'm playing into them. Yes, I got a critical hit, but what, what's Flare Blitz going to do to me? Oh, 2%, 2%. That is a match where I wish I had Aka Berry on Doldango instead of Life Orb, though. It's still fine, though. Um, It's Acrobatic's Hands and Shadow Ball Arcanine. They don't fake out the dual dango. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Shadow Ball Teos. Life Orb Teos me. I'm honestly fine with that because I've gotten two Teos. And they've only gotten one on me. I think Iron Bundles was what they're going to bring here. So I'm just going to... Oh, Durganacle. Oh. Oh, yeah, they're dead. They're dead. I don't speed them anyway, so... But just acrobatics into Moonblast. Gardenacle isn't as much of a threat. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. Moonblast just one-shots. Acrobatics doesn't, does, doesn't even come close to one-shotting, though. Um, they're trying to get slow salt to your damage. I'm just going to throat chop into Moonblast. Hopefully Moonblast. Okay, yes. Moonblast does damage. And throat chop does, too. Oh, but Salt here does as well. It's not like they're going to win, though. 
Throat Chop and Moon Blast. Oh, so they're protecting, so they heal and I take damage. Well played by them, but it would be better for them to do it last turn. If they did it last turn, they might have had a shot. But now they don't. Yeah, that's a forfeit. Next match. This shows you how good uh, Roaring Moon and Goldenko can be. Okay, okay. This could be an Espeon Double Streams team, but it doesn't look like it, except for the Quadsire. So, I think... I don't know what to expect from this team, but the King Gambit is an issue to the Goldengo. And I don't have a fighting move on this team to deal with King Gambit. But, um... It's fine, though. Um, I'm just gonna try leading with Root Bonnet Goldengo here, because I feel like that's better than Roaring Moon Goldengo. And because of the decent speed on their team for Goldengo and Vax Talibur, I'm going to bring Roaring Moon for Tailwind support. And then I'm going to bring Fluttermane because I don't need to outspeed everything, which is what Iron Bundle does. So, yeah, I don't need to outspeed everything. I'm going to Rage Powder into Nasty Plot. Wait, they're switching into Clodsire. Terrifying. Rage Powder, Nasty Plot. Let's see what they do. They're shadow balling the brute on it. He is. They're trying to shadow plot. They're trying to shadow ball the Goldengo. I'm in a nasty plot. Hopefully they don't find a way to redirect anything. So I guess this isn't max speed. Oh wait, I'm gonna spore the quadzire. And I'm just gonna shadow ball Doldengo. Should still KO, even though it's not super effective. Yep. 3x special attack isn't anything to stop at. <laughs> Shows you how strong it is. Oh, wait, they're bringing out Espeon. Fine by me. I'm just going... Oh, wait, this is Magic Bounce, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a forfeit. They see my strong gold angles, yeah. I probably was just going to sweep them anyway. Okay, okay. Arm Rouge and NDD. And then they have Iron Hands. This is almost definitely a Trick Room team, so I'm going to be bringing Hatterin in the back. But as for if it's not, I think Root Bonnet Goldengo is the best weed here. So I'm bringing that, and then in the back I'm bringing Hatterin. And I think I think I can sweep with Fluttermane in the late game once Sizor is taken care of. Okay, Indidi and Sizord lead. I guess they're expecting me to lead Fluttermane or something. Okay. Let's Rage Powder into Nasty Plot. They can't really do much with the Bug Steel stuff, so, yeah. Oh, believe me, Sizor is broken in certain metagames, just not VGC. Bug and steal incredible defensive coverage. Unless the opposing team has a fire type move, then you're dead. That's why in um, almost any ability, well baked body size or is insane. But yeah, uh, okay, rage powder and second nasty plot. Wait, helping, they're helping handing the size of a Rage Powder and Nasty Plot. What are they going to do? Another Iron Head, not a KO. Let's get Rage Powder. I'm really hoping they don't follow me because I know they have followed me. But if they're following me, then I'm not getting anything done with Shadow Ball and they're just KOing the group on it for the turn. So hopefully they're doing a helping hand. Yes, okay. One shot that, what they didn't do. D Dream, yes, 6%. Okay, okay. I 
They haven't set up Trick Room yet. Oh, they're going to set up Trick Room. Or they're going to do that E-Force stuff. Let's Terra Steel Shadow Ball and then get another... Yeah, let's Terra Steel Shadow Ball this thing. Actually, no, wait. Let's Terra Steel... No, way back. Let's just Red or Mist go fire it. And then I'm going to make a play here. Terra Flying Shadow Ball into it. If they're using Follow Me... Oh, wait, they're using Follow Me. So that means they're probably setting up Trick Room or they might be using Expanding Force. Wait, so they're Trick Room setting. So that means they're probably not going to follow me again. Which means... Mr. Fire and the Shadow Ball to the play. Actually, wait, no. Switch into Hatterin and then Shadow Ball is the play. Oh, they one shot? Wait, let's Trick Room into Shadow Ball. I just really want to KO this Armor Rouge. Hopefully, they're not using Follow Me. Okay, Armor Cannon goes up, but Shadow Ball does too. Now I can't actually damage the Ndidi. I, I can't actually damage the Ndidi, so uh, this match isn't going to be winnable. Like, it's actually, it's not like a real probability outcome. It's literally I can't win. So, okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Okay, so they have Roaring Moon here. And then they have Moongus. And then they have the Iron Bundle plus Arcanine combination. I think Roaring Moon's really good here because I can shut down the Sylveon completely. So, I think Goldango plus Roaring Moon is actually the play here. And then, I think Fluttermane plus Iron Bundle in the back is going to be pretty good. Wait, so they're bringing out Iron Hands and Arcanine. To fake out stuff here. Wait, person's to speed? Did I build this wrong? <gasps> it's because of Intimidate. It's because of Intimidate. That's why, that's why, that's why. It's because of Intimidate is person's to speed. Not sure if they noticed that though. I'm just gonna tear flying into nasty plot. Then protect. Because they're totally fake outing into the wrong moon slot. And I'm expecting Ooh, Snarl goes off, but my special attack's still higher, so I think that was the play there, but uh yeah. So, like, Acrobatics isn't as good here. I think I'm going to make a play and switch into Iron Bundle. Whoa, Wisping Iron Bundle. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, nuts. I should have attacked. I got a bit too greedy there. Wait, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Shadow Ball the Arcanine and then Hydro Pump the Arcanine. I just want this Arcanine dead. Oh, well played by them. Well played. Well, well played. Oh, wait, so they have the Amoongus. 206, 205. Why, my, my. Oh, wait, so I'm going to Shadow Ball Amoongus and I'm just going to Freeze Dry Arcanine. Oh, well played again. Well played again. <clears throat> Again, a miss on the Fluttermane? 
what? It's like it's like it's they specifically making sure that Fluttermain is gonna survive here. <laughs> they're like gonna do good damage. Oh yeah, they're protecting, so I it's good that I targeted the Iron Hands. So next turn, Shadow Ball's gonna KO Iron Hands. And freeze dries in a KO Arcanine. Oh yeah, you know, like I, I completely forgot about that, so I guess Snarl's finally gonna hit Fluttermane. No, they're gonna flare blitz and and kill themselves. Wait, so what I'm gonna do is Wait, so, uh, sorry, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna Acrobax Amundus, and I'm gonna Icy Wind. I'm totally gonna take out the Iron Hands, and probably the Amundus because of the super effective attacks. Icy Wind is both super effective against both two. Their speed is lowered, so that way mine can, you know, beat theirs. They are totally gonna have fake out, so I'm just gonna double protect. Because even though I will take burn damage, I, I can't have them constantly cycling through with fake outs. So I will die next turn from burn. I'm gonna acrobatics this thing. Then I'm gonna freeze dry Roy Moon. Oh, is they're protecting? So they're knowing I'm probably gonna, so they're knowing I'm gonna die from my burn. I guess that is well played by them. So now it's just who can kill the other Roaring Moon faster. So that does. So I'm getting two shot here. I think I can make a play here. Yeah, they're going to move first. That was just a matter of, like, one point of speed or something. That was a really close match, but not a win, but it's fine. I was happy with how the match went either way because it was such an interesting match. This is this is so obvious. It's so obvious what their strategy is. They're just gonna they're just gonna use the pavilion into the Dead Sparse and use that uh, terror psychic strategy. So not gonna work with me though. Um, I have a dark type. Um, and then I also have something that resists it, but I don't have two dark types to be immune to it. So I'm try oh wait, isn't Brook Bonnet dark? Oh yeah. So I'm just gonna lead both of these, have Dildango in the back, and then Fluttermane. Oh wait, mouse hold and Dijon Sparse. Oh yeah, uh mouse hold also did the U-turn, but it won't activate as well as like a Jolteon, but wait, unless there's safety goggles, the U-turn is gonna go into me. Oh, yes. And then I'm just going to terrifying acrobatics this thing. I want. Oh, they're using beat up. Oh, oh, oh. I, I made a play. I made a play. I made a play. I made a play. 60%. Oh, so this isn't that strategy. That's not a bad thing, but hopefully I still tell the dead on sparse with the one point five x defense. I think either they'll survive on like two percent or I'm winning. Oh yes, I, I I do I do I I do tell them. Oh, yes. the pavilion's out. Bug flying. I'm just gonna rage powder onto acrobatics. T wave. Pollen Puff. Oh, wait, yes. Pollen Puff finally K KOs. Acrobatics KOs as well. Oh, wait, 205 speed. Their speed can be up to 155. 
Oh, wait, it's the winter OE speed tie? Okay, I'm gonna bring it on the Fluttermane instead of the Dual Dango, just so I can get a, a faster D Dream than they can to take out their 1% health, and I'm just gonna Acrobatics and Mousehold. Also, you know, like, I have D Dream, not like it's gonna work anyway. So they just kinda hit up a free turn there. Now it's just Bolted East. Not much they can do here. Throat Chop. Yep, okay. GG's to them. Anyway, thank you for watching, and again, please, if you watch till the end, you might as well subscribe, because it's such, it makes my day when I get a new subscriber, or when, or when you like, and that it just warms my heart when people do that, so thank you.